I've had the Anchor Solex C1000 for about a year now, and I've had a love and hate relationship with the unit, but let's talk about it. channel guys this is Paul and today I'm gonna to explain to you what I love and hate about this unit but the issue that I was having has actually been resolved so I am actually just loving this unit more as I use it so the first thing is I do use it for charging drones cameras and phones when I'm out camping it's got enough juice in here to uh, uh, power my fridge and also charge my uh, electronics so that's been working out great now what I dislike about this unit is that it's got a power saving mode built in to the uh, outputs. So if you're not constantly using these outputs, they will automatically turn off. The downfall about running this, pairing it with a refrigerator is that the fridge doesn't run on all the time. So when the fridge is cool enough, it'll shut off. And when it shuts off, the unit will detect that there is no power being drawn and after X amount of minutes, the unit shuts off the port. And what's bad about that is that when you're out camping, you have your fridge on here, you expect it to stay cool inside the chambers or the compartment throughout the day. But I've tested this out and I've noticed that when I come back from a long hike, the fridge has been turning off. Now based on my research, it's a power saving mode that uh, Anchor has put in place to ensure the battery here lasts a long time. Um, so they shut off the port if it's not being used. Now, how do you solve that problem? I've opened up tickets, multiple tickets with Anchor. And it took about three months to resolve the issue, but Anchor finally came through with a solution. Let me just show you on my phone here. All right, so I'm opening up the Anchor app and I have, let's see, it's this unit right here, currently at 98%, matching what is that. So I'm currently connected to that unit. But um, they did push an update to my unit and that update, you know, is here. I'm actually on version 1.5.1. And with this latest version, what, um, what they have now is the card port power saving mode. And what you can do is actually turn that off. If you don't, it states here, when the car charger output port detects power below three watts for five consecutive hours, car charging automatically stops. So this is a new feature in the latest version and that version is actually not available for everyone. So you have to actually open up a ticket with Anchor and submit your complaint telling them that you have a fridge connected to this port and why this port keeps shutting off. What they'll do is after you've given them your serial number, they will push out a firmware and make that available to, for you to utilize the application here to update the unit. And after updating the unit, so far, it's been working well. I've had this fridge over here and my unit running for a few days here, and the unit has been running flawlessly and the port has not shut off. Now, in the meantime, if you don't have the firmware and you plan on using this unit out while you're camping, the only option you have is to set this port to stay on for 23 hours and 55 minutes. Only downfall is that you have to check the timer on this port every day and extend the timer again. And to do that, you can actually go into the port setting in here. And if I select the car port and turn it on, there is a timer right here. I can select the timer, go to customization, put 23 hours, 55 minutes and save. What that'll do is even if there's no power being drawn from this port, it'll keep it active for 23 hours and 55 minutes. So you'll have to come back to the app every day 
and extend the time. It'll ensure that this port stays enabled for you so you can use it with your fridge. And so far, this unit has been working really well. I've gotten through so many cycles already, just testing it out and pairing it with the fridge. I've used it out on camping trips and also fishing trips. And I highly recommend it for any of you guys who plan to go out camping who needs some power source. All right guys, I just came on really quick to give you an idea of the resolution for this unit here. Why I hate this unit, but now I love this unit. If you have any questions, feel free to drop it down in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe as that really helps me out with my channel. Again guys, thank you for stopping by and watching till the end and I'll see you in the next video, thanks.